everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest. And we are here with the Ravenwing pack, who's hopefully not uh, got anything crazy about to happen. We're at 58% flea load, the pups are getting hungry, and Tari's is up to 13 pounds, and everybody else is getting close, with Griffin being the smallest at 12.4. Uh, so we're getting closer to being able to leave for the rendezvous site. We do have 100% affinity, so let's move everybody back and- Oh no, no you're joking! Oh no. Well, <laughs> I guess there's been a change of plans. Alright, we have to move to a new den. I think Cassia knows what rendezvous site she wants. Let's look at our map first. Show all dens. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, that's exactly the direction that uh, we may end up moving. Hmm. So the rendezvous site that uh, Cassie was looking at the other day is like right here. Honestly, if we go all the way up here, we're gonna be going past it. How? Okay, pack info. Got two more pounds. Honestly. Hello? Hello? Why am I hearing danger music? Why do we hear danger music? Hello? What was that music? Hold on. Let's let's go here. Can we go in the den, please? Or not in the den, um, but in the, the grass for a moment? Honestly. Stay here for a minute. I could almost see Cassia making a risky play. The rendezvous site is literally just over this hill. Honestly. I could see Cassia. Tanza, stay back with them still. I could see Cassia not wanting to go all the way to another den and just moving her pups straight to the rendezvous site. Which is not really something that the game intends for us to do. But it's something that I could see Cassia deciding to take a chance on. I think... She's feeling a little unsure, so that would be moving us into this hex, I think. We will have to claim all the way around here. It will get us further from Junction Butte. And it means we don't have to go all the way to the other side, but does mean that we'll be risking being on the road for a bit, and of course our affinity will go down a lot faster. Griffin's at 12 point- yeah, honestly, I think Cassia would. It's a bit of an unusual thing, but I think Cassia would. So I think we're going to call the pups out, and I think she's going to just try to bring them right over to the rendezvous site and and try to keep them kind of near it. Is everybody following? Everybody is following. Alright. Well. Oh, 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 we got too far ahead. We got too far ahead. Alright. Hayes was, Hayes was hanging back. Hayes was hanging back. Now we have to be kind of careful because I think... Predators can be more likely to show up. Well, may maybe. It feels like coyotes pop up very frequently on the uh, the journeys here. But, yeah, honestly, I don't see Cassia wanting to go all the way past this to the rendezvous site. I think, on it, I think she will just probably try to bring the pups down and get them somewhere close to it and kind of stash them there until they're they're ready for the rendezvous site. I think that's what's that's what she's gonna try to do. All right, oh Hayes, be careful. I think Hayes just fell. Uh, she kinda kinda tripped a little bit, um maybe a little bit uh Is that a hecking cougar? No, that's a that's a deer. That's a deer. Alright, who's here? Condor is going to the wrong grass patch. Condor is staying in the wrong grass patch. Alright then. Um I think we just call the pups out and see what happens and then bring them down towards the grass. Although, they will be exposed. I don't know, if we bring them over... Oh, Condor, don't get don't get left behind, Condor. Okay, Condor's catching up. They will be out in the open. Hmm. I guess... Yeah, I think we're just gonna... I think she's just gonna try this. It's, she's definitely a little uneasy. We might have to move towards that den. I think she would want to go check out where where the next den is. Tan, will you stay back with them? Because I think she'd want to go check out this den up here, but honestly, 
I don't think she'd want to haul them all the way over here, because I think the den's a little ways off. It's right up here, isn't it? Yeah, it's up there. It's all the way up there. I don't think she would want Oh, Ton Ton, why don't why don't you uh, why don't you go back to the pups? Can can you go back to the pups, Ton? I don't I don't know. Is he going back? He might be going back. Alright, we're just gonna have to play this careful like for a few days here. Cause you can see the downside to this is that the affinity bar is uh, the threshold is way higher than it would be otherwise. So we're gonna have to play this cautiously. But I think this is I think this is what Cassie would choose, especially knowing that the dens can flood. Uh, I don't think she'd be feeling too great about that. Uh, we are gonna try and... Hello? Did you just not even run? She just didn't even run. Why are you- why are you standing your ground here? Excuse you? Excuse you? Well, I guess this works. We could... Oh, there's bison and everything. I, I am a little uneasy about that. I don't think Cassie has had... I don't think Cassie has had super a super amount of experience. Is this like, is there like already a baby somewhere around here? Is that why she's standing her ground? I thought it was too too early in the year for babies to start showing up. Maybe it's not. I really don't know, you guys. I really don't know. It could be that this is a mother mule deer, but I don't think Cassia has realized yet. If that was the case, that uh, there are baby mule deer to hunt. Um, I think she's just gonna try and bring this one down and do what she can to finish it off and then we'll probably we'll probably go back to the pups once we finished and we'll probably call Ton over to eat and then oh Ton just came back he's oh it is it is it is you can hear the uh, you can hear the music okay well Ton Ton's going to eat that's good but we have to be very careful because our pups are in the grass. I don't know why he keeps coming back. He, he I don't, I'm not sure Ton is super on board for this plan. Uh, I don't know if he knows for sure what, what Cassia is doing. But we do have just an absolute insane amount of ravens around here. Is he running back to the pups? He's wanting to make sure that we don't lose them. We probably should mark, well, do we see them on the map? We do see them on the map, okay. Uh, I was gonna say, we want to make sure we don't, like, heckin' lose the pups. <laughs> that would not be a good thing. Um, now, I think Cassia does want to mark the territory, but I think a lot of this is gonna go towards laying low with the pups. I think a lot of what she's gonna do is do that. So we'll mark these really fast. Hopefully Ton stays back, and we can go make sure the pups are alright in just a little bit. But having uh, having the babies, the, uh, the, ba the fawns and calves out and about now, I think will be a very helpful thing. Oh, here we go. Yep, it is telling us that we can do this. So I guess it's time. But uh, I don't think Cassie is going to do that just yet. I think she she now is aware that this is a thing that she can do. But I think she's going to be more focused on really quickly marking these um, the the these these scent posts and then getting back to her pups and making sure that they're all right. Because hopefully Ton is staying with them. It looks like he is. Alright, we have marked the, um, marked the last scent post. I think, uh, Cassia is gonna run right back to her pups here. <laughs> and honestly, I think she's gonna spend some time kind of just laying low and trying not to be spotted. Uh, she can't really risk marking much farther with that, with especially with Ton being a little uncertain and unpredictable about what to do. And with the pups being a little bit more exposed than at the proper rendezvous site because they haven't quite got the idea of staying not in a den, um, I think she's gonna be more keen to kind of lay low for a while and maybe just sleep through the day uh, and make sure that everything's gonna be all right when she when she takes a rest here. Uh, kind of just linger cautiously around and hang out with the pups and make sure that that all is okay. Uh, so I think she's actually going to do that here. Uh, I think she wants to make sure everybody stay. Well, actually, no, we shouldn't move them back in the den. We should make sure we feed them first. Uh, make sure that we keep their food up. So maybe for once they won't listen when Cassia whoops, but I think they are going back. Um, I think we ought to call them back out. Yep. And make sure that they've got enough food, and then we will, uh, then, then, then we can sleep, and we'll probably just rest through the day here, and make sure that, uh, we're, we're taking close care of these guys, but I, I think Cassie is gonna kinda just go into hunker-down mode, and 
stay here and do her best to make sure that they stay protected and that she just kind of keeps leaving, leaving long enough to get food and bring it back for them and not much longer than that, honestly. So, let's see, I think everybody's getting pretty close on food. Um, Antares still needs to eat. Antares is the biggest, so he's probably, it's good that he's letting his siblings get some food too. But we do need to make sure he stays fed. We don't want him starving, after all, even if he does have the biggest weight margin here. Um, we want to make sure that he gets his share as well. Condor, please do not wander off. Hello? Hello? What is this? What is this? That is not. That is not. Okay. Oh, goodness. Don't split up. That was just a hair. That was just a hair. All right. Everybody back over here, please. Everybody. Oh, my goodness. Everybody's running every which way. I think that, that spooked Cassie enough for her to want to... Uh, to just rest up, and so I think she is going to curl up here and take a bit of a nap and make sure that okay, the pups are at 95 affinity uh, and just kind of kind of spend some time resting for a little while. I think that's what she's going to do. Alright, is there something lurking? There is indeed. Okay, pups stay in the grass. Where are these coyotes? There always are coyotes on journeys, it feels like. Where are they? Tawn's keeping an eye out as well. Uh, I think Cassie is going to kind of just circle here, make sure... Oh, there he is. Ton's got him already. Ton... Oh, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. All right. Ton, Ton handled that efficiently. <laughs> he did not take any heck from them. All right. How is everybody doing? Because I think we'll probably just do another quick foray for some food. And Tari's is all the way up to 14 pounds and Griffin's up to almost 13. So we're definitely getting there. But I think it'd be good if Cassie could go find something to eat real fast. And I think she's going to do that. Maybe she will try and find one of the new calves or fawns and see if she can find one to bring back. And in fact, actually, I think I see an elk mother just hanging out over here. Is Ton coming with? Ton is sticking around, I think. All right, let's go over here because I'm pretty sure I see one hanging around. And we'll see if we can, uh, <laughs> we'll see if we can quickly snatch her, her calf and bring it back. I do not know how easy it'll be to find, but we're going to try. Up oh, here we go. Was that? Yep, that was her. All right. Well, unfortunately, I need food for my babies, and your baby is good for that purpose. So we're gonna go ahead and bring back this uh, this calf here. This is an elk calf, and we'll let them all eat, and then maybe we'll eat a little bit too. Cause how is Tons at 92? We don't need to eat just yet. But we do want to make sure we keep these guys very nice and well fed. So let's bring this back for them and hopefully we will have the chance to also hang out and play with them just a little bit. And uh, let them get some food here. Uh, there goes the elk mother <laughs> in the distance. I'm a, I'm a little bit paranoid now. If you guys have seen my Twitch series uh, with Peregrine, I'm a little bit paranoid about elk now. But uh, as long as we can make sure that oh goodness Robin don't go too far as long as we make sure that everybody gets well fed did Robin Robin's at 94 okay Antares and Condor also need food uh, and they're just gonna wander Condor's just wandering away uh, guys come back and come back and get um, come back and get to uh, get food please how are we how are we on affinity we are at 100% it's mostly just Antares who needs to eat now and it looks like he is but let's go ahead and we will woof these guys back in the grass and I think, did he get enough food? 79. He still needs to, oh my goodness, sir, you need to eat. But okay, he's already hiding. Well, he'll be all right through the night, I think. Uh, we can go ahead and finish this off. And uh, I think we are going to go ahead and actually end this off here. Maybe we'll bring some of this to Ton as well so that he can get a little bit of food too. Let's just bring that a little ways away from the pups and then have him, uh, have him eat it. And then we will go ahead and end off, I think. Cassia is a little unsure of herself. This was definitely not what she was planning for. Ton, are you going to eat that? Ton? Ton? Will, will, you, will you come over here? We, we will whine at him and try to get his attention. Try to get him to, uh, to come eat. You can have it. It's okay. This is for you. This is food for you. Food for you so that you, you, can, you can eat. Is he... Does he want it? He is gonna eat it. Oh, good, good, good. All right, we should be fine on that much food then, I think, because Cassie is over a hundred. Um, he's gonna finish it off, it looks like. And I think Cassie is at um, 110, he's at 106, 
and even Antares is about 80 and Antares is the biggest pup so I think he'll be okay. Let's make sure everybody stays in the grass here and we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over a doubt.